I took my heels off. I can't dance with no heel. So, I took them hoes off because that was a waste of my time. I'm barefoot. I play basketball. I'm getting it in. I'm talking about D. I'm like D. Like these. Getting it in. You hear me? Every boy in there. At the time, I was trying to convince myself that I wasn't a lesbian. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. Let me talk my shit. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch Wait, let me talk my shit Let me tell you about this bitch See <sighs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the ho And this right here Is a uh, wing stop Go out, bitch I never had wing stop before Alright, so something new. And I don't think he gave me ranch. Oh yeah, dude. Nigga was flirting with me the whole time and shit. Come back, mama. I hope I hope to see you again. So, what's up y'all? Y'all wanted the prom story time. So I'm gonna give it to you. I bet so. All right, hang on, girl. Hey, Amen. I got some hot wings and some fries, what I totally don't need, totally against my diet. Anyway, you know what? I went to the prom. Well, before I even get to that. My mama was like, you know, if you go to the prom, he got to pay for it. He got to pay for your ticket. He ain't got to pay for your dress, but he damn sure got to pay for your ticket. Not because we couldn't afford it. Because, um, she always wanted me to know my worth. And wanted me to be treated good. You know what I'm saying? She ain't into busters, cause my dad ain't no buster. But anyway, all I got, I'm already thinking in my mind, I ain't going. Yeah, I felt like none of them lame ass niggas were gonna pay for the shit. And I ain't about to ask nobody, so I ain't going. Until one day. This dude named Brandon. <clears throat> he was like, yo, you wanna go to prom with me? <laughs> Somehow we got on a conversation of it. If it didn't come out like that. Either way, I said, yeah. I said, my mama said I can't go <laughs> unless you buy the ticket. He was like, no problem. Bought the ticket. I was like, Mom, he bought the ticket. I'm going with this guy. Blah, blah, blah. She was like, okay. So, prime time. I done picked out my dress. I got to wear a dress and some freaking heel. If I find a picture, I'm going to put it up here. He just recently posted it. You know, if I can't find it, I'm gonna ask him for it. <laughs> but, um, it's time to go to the prom or whatever. And I got my hair done. And I got weed for the first time in my life. I never had weed a day in my life because I always had good ass hair. Before this hair, my hair was long like this. Not very long, not right here. And it was like, you know, we used to call them doobie wraps. What they call them now, blowouts. But I could put my hair out the window, let it blow, bring it back in, that thing come back right. 
know what I'm saying? I had that get right <clears throat> with my hair. But uh, got my hair done, girly type little ponytail. Yeah. That was weave. I ain't gonna lie, I was looking like a whole snack. Mm -hmm. So, I get to his house. So, we go into the prom. You know, you gotta meet their uh, parents and what do you? <clears throat> get your little rose thing or whatever. Child, I don't remember. <laughs> but something like that happened. And then we ended up going out to eat. So I went out to eat with him, my brother, his baby mama, and um, at the time she was just his girlfriend. Uh, we was close friends. Um, we went to Friday. Me and her get away. <laughs> she got something. I got something. But we both got it to share with each other. So I'm smashing on some shit. She's smashing on some shit. But we eating off each other's plate. And prom dresses, brother. I mean, goddamn hell, yeah. All right, whatever, whatever. <clears throat> we smashed. They don't know each other. So they just sitting over there. Not talking about nothing. Damn. Brandon was really quiet and reserved. And so was my brother. So they probably said about five words to each other. <laughs> but anyway, this only lasted like an hour. So we end up going to the prom. Took pictures out there. You know. Uh, now I get to the school. I mean to the, to the prom. Nobody ever seen me in no dress, heels, none of that shit. And my hair done. They didn't even recognize me. Niggas like, yo, Brandon, who you with? <laughs> he like, nigga, that's Tanika. He was like, oh my God. That's when it was like, all right. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, you look so pretty. Mm -hmm. I was. I was. I will say that. So, you know, we do doing our thing. And now it's time to dance and shit. Yeah, at that time, you know, probably 121 pounds lighter. I had a small way. Small enough. I always had a little pudge because I was muscle more than anybody at that time. And I had a little butt. You know what I mean? Now I ain't got no ass. Poor child. But anyway, I had a little butt or whatever. And um, I could really dance, you know. And child, I got to dancing. And listen, this is the whole point of this story. I took my heels off. I can't dance with no heel. So, I took them hoes off because that was a waste of my time. I'm barefoot. I play basketball. I'm getting it in. I'm talking about D. I'm like D. Like these. Getting it in. You hear me? Every boy in there. At the time, I was trying to convince myself that I wasn't a lesbian. You know? Your parents don't like the shit. Mm. All that. As a child, it'll, it'll do a lot to you. So, I was confused as hell. So I'm just in there, you know, doing what I do. And prom over. And I go home. I go to sleep. No, I don't. I didn't go home. So that's the thing. I went to a little house party. I was supposed to go home. My mama knew my brother was getting a room. She ended up finding the key to the room. She didn't say shit to him. He went back to the room to get him to cut it. I had to sneak out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my granny. Cause she actually let me. <laughs> but um. I'm out, you know. I'm gone. Went to a little house party. My prom day was trying to get some cutting. I just couldn't do it. He was really, really reserved at the time. Like, 
Because at that time, I was having sex with boys. You know what I'm saying? But I was in love with this other boy. Child, if y'all want the story time on that, <clears throat> say hell yeah in the comment. But I ain't give him none for all of those reasons. But not because, you know, I didn't want to per se. It's almost like I did. I just felt like. If you want story time, let me know. Anyway, I did all this. Went to sleep. Everything. Now, it's time to play basketball. I, don't, I think that was like Sunday. Because I think the problem was Saturday. I went through the day on Sunday. Monday, it's time to play. And the skin off of my big toe is gone. I'm trying to figure out. Why didn't I feel that before the game? It don't seem like I would have wanted to go do anything if, if that happened. I, what? I, I don't even remember. Where is Miss Murphy when you need her? Shout out to Miss Murphy. Well, anyway, Miss Murphy gave me some rubber type shit that would give me the same feeling as if I had my toe skin. <laughs> So, I ended up being able to play the game and all that. You know what I'm saying? And it grew back. But I got it. Because I was, I, I was with these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I was, <laughs> I was with them. Getting it in. But, that is the story time for my prom. If y'all want to know. <sighs> the guy that I was in love with and the reason why I um didn't get that boy no cut at <laughs> and the reason why well the guy I lost my virginity to I guess I could give y'all that story time if you want it say hell yeah in the comment let me know what you want to see me eat cause I'm cooking next time I ain't gonna say this shit nasty cause it ain't it's just so damn oily feel like I could have did better. But um, y'all let me know. And that is my story time. For more videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. We on to the next video. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo, I cut the logo, I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three, pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you gotta close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.